the eastern castle stands tall and high. Far and wide stretch the towers that guard it. The whirling wind uprises and shakes the earth. The autumn grasses grow thick and green. The four seasons alternate without pause. The year's end hurries swiftly on. The bird of the morning wind is stricken with sorrow. The frail cicada suffers and is hard pressed. Free and clear, let us loosen the bonds of our hearts. Why should we go on always restraining and binding? In Yen and Chao are many fair ladies, beautiful people with faces like jade. Their clothes are made all of silk gaze. They stand at the door, practicing tranquil lace. The echo of their singing, how sad it sounds. By the pitch of the song, one knows the stops have been tightened. To ease their minds, they arrange their shawls and belts. Lowering their song a little while they pause. I should like to those two flying swallows who are carrying clay to nest in the eaves of your house. I drive my chariot up to the eastern gate. From afar, I see the graveyard north of the wall. The white aspens, how they murmur, murmur. Pines and cypresses flank the broad paths. Beneath lie men who died long ago. Black, black is the long night that holds them. Deep down, beneath the yellow springs. Thousands of years they lie without waking. In infinite succession light and darkness shift, and years vanish like the morning dew. Man's life is like a sojourning. His longevity lacks the firmness of stone and metal. Forever it has been that mourners in their turn were mourned. Saint and sage, all alike are trapped, seeking by food to obtain immortality. Many have been the dupe of strange drugs, better far to drink good wine, and clothe our bodies in robes of satin and silk.